Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial, we're we'll going to be taking a look at a new technique that I've started using for getting that orange teal look that everybody wants to pay a bunch of money for. So, inside of DaVinci Resolve, we've got, you know, another great clip of amber. So this will be, we've got two clips to work from. This will end up being a more typical like orange teal look. So, the first thing we're going to do is just sort of contrast this up a little bit. I'll bring some scopes down because I know people like to see what's going on occasionally. So I'm just going to uh, expand our dynamic range some a little bit. So bring our blacks down some. I'm fine to just lower this black point because we've got nothing down there. But I don't want to, you know, clip it off. I still want this to look a little bit expensive. I'm not going to bring our white point up per se, but just bring this up some here and then add a little bit more contrast right down at the very bottom just to really make these shadows uh, frame her a little bit better. So there we go. And I'm pretty happy with that. That might be a little bit much down here. But, you know, this is not the important part of the tutorial. Great. These off to the side. Now, here comes the orange steel part. Now, this is a pretty similar workflow to what you've been doing. I'm just using a few little different controls that have really been making it look that extra little bit better. So, Alt-S, Alt-L, create a layer node, layer mixer node. Down this bottom one, this is going to be where we do our qualifier. Because as we know, with a layer mixer, the bottom node overwrites the adjustments in the top one and doesn't add to them. So, I'm just going to go ahead and only select our shadows, hit control H to make sure that we only see what's going on in the snow and then bring our high down until we're just getting our shadows in the shot. So I'll call this about good. I'll bring the high soft up. Nice. Now this is just a really easy, fast way to get it done. Control H so we can see, you know, nothing's changed yet, but we're going to go over to our temperature control and bring this all the way down. And now you can see this does a really nice job of making some really nice colors down in our shadows. So you can see, without it, with it, pretty nice little thing. Before, what I would do is, you know, I try and mess around with this, and that's okay, but I really found that the colors here are nice and consistent, and they look good, and they actually keep our dark parts of our image a little bit cleaner than if we do it with a normal correction. Then, of course, if we want to, we can go ahead and warm this part up some. It doesn't really need it, but we'll do it just for kicks and giggles. So just a little bit warmer. Now, just like that, quick and dirty we've got something that looks way more expensive if we want to you know bump it up the next little knot the next little notch we can go ahead and just you know relight the scene a little bit because right now we're paying more attention to her belly than her face and she doesn't appreciate that so now we're just going to go ahead and brighten this up now that looks pretty good oh uh, what the heck we'll add a parallel mixer in there just to make people think we're cool and you know darken up the bottom of her frame all right great so now say that's looking good. We'll go over to our next shot. And this one, we'll do a little bit more with. So we'll go to a nice frame here. That's looking like a good one to work from. And I'll do the same sort of workflow here. We're just going to do a little bit uh, more selective thing. Because you can see uh, our skin tones and our shadows are basically in the same spot. So we're going to need to qualify these a little bit more. So the first thing I'm going to do, is just like before, just contrast it up a little bit. I'll bring my scopes down for those of you people that like to look at these. And... You know, obviously don't be looking here when you're grading. This is just for people who want to see where I end up. Because if you do, you know, what you're taught in school, you'll end up like this, which does not look good. You want it to be a little smoother. So we'll bring this back. And now we'll get what's going on in our scene. So I feel like about there is feeling good. Then we'll add a little bit down here. A little bit up here. There we go. And that's already much nicer looking. Drop these guys out of the frame a little bit. Now we're going to do our same little workflow. Alt S, Alt L, Shift H, go to our qualifier. And this time, what we're going to do is we're going to select our skin tone. So there we go. We're going to get a nice big selection, nice big loose selection. So we'll bring this back a little bit by bringing our width down some. We'll get a little bit of the background out. Move our center around. So we're feeling pretty good. And now you can see it's really nice. We just got skin tones and our highlights in there. Soften this out, you know, a good little bit because we can afford to do that here. And I'm mean, bring these highs all the way up because we want all the highs in this. And then add a little bit of low soft. And now just the opposite of before, we're going to make our top layer, which is actually, if you're thinking about this in the Adobe world, this would be the bottom layer because this node is going to overwrite this node. We're going to make this guy nice and cool. You see that's starting to look good there. Change this guy around a little bit. 
Make it real, real soft. This real, real soft. There we go. And I'm liking that better. Now in this one, we can go ahead and do the opposite. So make our temperature warmer. And I'm not liking what that's doing over here. So I'm going to first see if we can fix this by bringing up our low. Yep, there we go. So just decreasing the amount of low saturated stuff in here. Get that out. And it gets us a little bit of free backlight on the hair too, which is nice. And then we just go ahead and soften this out some and soften out the high here too, just because. There we go. Now this looks a little bit extreme right now. I'm gonna push it even a little bit further. But you see, we're getting this great contrast here. And there's this little piece of grass out here that I'm not gonna fix in this tutorial, but that's pretty easy to just qualify off and, you know. Well, what the heck? What the heck? So you just add a little mask here. So normally, you see this is wrong, Theo. But you just click this little button here and all of a sudden it excludes this part. And now the grass fades into the rest of the image. Cool. So now to sort of bring this image together a little bit more, this is a trick that I would always use and still do use a lot in Photoshop and I'll use it more in grading now too. So another layer mixer because my mind is in Photoshop world right now and we're gonna go ahead and make this guy monochrome. We're gonna bring our reds up some and this will make our skin a little brighter. And this technique you should be a little bit careful with because it can introduce some noise to your image, especially with lower quality footage. This is footage shot in 4 to 1 RAW on the Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K. And it's got plenty of light, so it should hold up pretty well. We're going to bring our blues down. You see now we get a lot of extra contrast for free, which is nice. Not really for free, but enough for free. Then we're going to go and add some normal contrast in here. And pump this up. And you can be a little bit heavy-handed with this. I mean, that right there I like a lot. But then we're going to go to our key section and bring our key output down. And it gives it this sort of desaturated whitewashed -y look. But I think it looks just a real dramatic, really cinematic look. I can bring our skin tones up even more so they stick out some. And I think this is just a really neat look. So there you go. One simple way of getting orange teal, one a little more advanced way. I think we got some cool images out of this. Really useful stuff. I really like using the temperature control for adding some color contrast. I think it does a really nice job. And then, you know, you'll have it consistent across your grades too, which is nice because it does a really good job. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mission Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out MissionMedia.com slash products, where we've got some LUTs and power grades and light leaks and uh, optical stuff. It's, it's a good time over there. I mean, just for the sake of whatever. I mean, this one definitely doesn't need anything, but... Uh, ch -ch 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 meter by the sun station would be good on this yeah so we get this and then reduce the output some just add a little bit of flavor on top and they just sort of you know bumps up your image a little bit so people like house luts a lot new lut stuff coming out soon which is good i just need to finish some stuff also be sure to check out the socials down in the description below i'm starting to do a little more instagram stuff i've been doing one a days on blender for the past week or so so i mean if you've made it this far, then you're a pretty hardcore um, Mr. Media tutorial watcher. So let me know if you want some beginner Blender tutorials. Um, since 2.79 came out, I think that it's a really it's a really solid 3D application now that you know can do a lot of good stuff, uh, especially with animation nodes installed. Um, so if there's anything you want to see how to do it in Blender, it's a free application. If you haven't heard of it. Um, it's a little bit intimidating to learn, but especially if you're a student, young person, if you learn this application, you will get work. Because um, people need motion graphics more than ever now, and motion graphics are very difficult to learn. So, uh, yep. Once again, I've been Theo with Mista Media. We have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.